Good morning everybody. It's Saturday today when I'm filming this and we're in Saskatoon, Regina. No, not Saskatoon, Regina. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. As you can tell, I'm still waking up my brain. Saskatoon is not in Regina. Saskatoon is in Saskatchewan. Regina is also in Saskatchewan. I'm not even going to redo this. Good morning. Hi. I'm tired. So we're going to wake ourselves up. So when I sleep in here at night, I put all of my stuff on my driver's seat here. All of this stuff goes onto my bed here. I prop my pillow up like this. And then I lay it all up in front of the pillow there nice and neat. That way, Diesel doesn't come and sleep on my pillow. He does shed a little bit and you know, you got to keep up with the vacuuming. There's a lot of vacuuming when you have a dog. Especially in our house when you have three dogs. I mean, Britt does a phenomenal job at vacuuming and I try to help out where I can. I'm not always the best at it, but uh, I try. But uh, there's a lot of vacuuming. So, I don't want any hair where my head is. So, I stack up all my stuff there so that he doesn't lay there. He also knows already, he's like seven years old. He's been in the truck with me for seven years. He knows not to lay on that side anyway. Because it's habit, he's never been allowed to lay on my pillow side. His side of the bed's always been that side so I have a system my computer case goes there everything else here I have my toolbox which is clean but it's all my tools it goes there my bag goes in there and then his food in his container goes on the other side there and it's all nice and neat where I can reach everything. And it doesn't look messy. This here just goes on top of that. Like that. So I mean, it might look a little messy, but that's the way I organize my truck. So every night and every morning, I gotta move everything from the front to the back, from the back to the front. And uh, I could always just take this down. That's what my dad always did. You can take the top bunk down and use that as storage up there as long as you secure it so that it's not going to fly down on you if you have to hit the brakes or if you hit a, hit wildlife or something. But I prefer to have this open space. The reason, one of the things I like about Volvo, I mean, I am a Peterbilt Kenworth guy, don't get me wrong. I, I, I would rather be driving a long-nosed Pete or a Kenworth W9, like I always say. But the one thing I do like about Volvo is this sunroof here and all of this space up here. So when you take this bed down, it takes a lot of space out of here. And also these windows in here, I like the natural light coming in. And when this bed comes down to here, all that natural light stays up there and it gets pretty dark down here. It's just my own preference. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna continue cleaning up here, getting ready to go, run inside to the Flying J right over there and grab a coffee and we'll be on our way as soon as we walk the weasel. Let's do this. I have one dirty truck and yes I am ashamed of that. <laughs> oh well. Today it's just about getting across Saskatchewan and Manitoba, dropping this trailer in our yard in southeast Manitoba, hooking on to a new trailer which is tarped and ready to go, and coming back this way. I'll probably get back to Portage La Prairie or Brandon or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. That load that I'm picking up is going to Edmonton. And I'm just doing a, a drop and hook. Just a, a quick, quick switcheroo and we'll Turn keep going. Because we took uh, time off for camping last weekend. So we're making up for it this weekend. We'll work right through it. Just rolling through Regina, Saskatchewan here. Still got about six hours to our yard, so I've been driving three hours or so. It's been a smoky day. Wow. The wildfires in British Columbia are still just pushing tons and tons of smoke out east here from the west. It's been pretty crazy. It's actually pretty clear here, but there was a little while ago between Saskatoon and Regina that I wouldn't have been able to see that refinery plant up ahead there. It was about a three quarter mile to a half mile visibility. Just smoke and it just, it was hurting my lungs already and I don't usually have problems like that. 
but I can't imagine how people with like asthma and uh, breathing problems, respiratory problems around smoke, how they must be dealing with it today. It must be very difficult for them. So I bet you the bet you the hospitals are seeing a little bit of an influx of uh, people with respiratory issues today and this week. It's pretty crazy. I was talking about this with my, my friend James uh, from in Steinbeck there. That it seems like every summer already there's wildfires out west and it all blows into the into the prairies. Every summer we got a smoky, smoky hazy sky already. So we've gotten back to the yard now and we're just hooking up to our new load, our new trailer. This is it right here. This is the wide part. As you can see here, it sticks over, looks about 10 inches over I'd say, maybe, maybe more. Just on the kick here and on the back we got a container, a sea can or whatever you call them. All strapped down for me and everything already. Got a tri-axle trailer. So you know we'll be hauling a little bit of extra weight. What's this? Product launch. Vendor country, Germany. This thing came from Germany. Well, danke. That's where my people are. Well, actually, I'm Canadian. Way back when. Way, way back when. 1700s, 1800s. That's where we came from. Now I'm gonna be pulling one of their containers. Wow. Cool. So this came all the way from Germany, that's crazy. Let's see what it looks like on the back. Cool. So I'm just gonna check and make sure all these chains are tight. Oh yeah, that's, that's tight, that's impressive. Very nice, very nice, okay. So, uh, there's a scale in our yard here. I'm gonna go scale it, make sure that I'm not overweight. And then uh, I've gotta flag it. I gotta put all the proper flags on the wide load part and the oversized load sign on the back. And then I'm gonna see how far down the road we can get tonight. I might just go to Winnipeg, to Headingley. I might go to Portersville Prairie. Maybe to Brandon, we'll see how far we can get. We'll see. I just want to get hooked up and get this whole thing flagged and be on our way. And off we go into the night with our next load. Headed down, well headed back to Edmonton. So I'm gonna go to Headingley right now. That's just on the west side of Winnipeg. I just want to get around Winnipeg, the city so that I don't have to deal with the traffic tomorrow morning. And then I'll see how I feel once I get there. If I feel like continuing on, we'll go on to Portage. I don't have enough hours to get to Brandon. I only have one hour, 51 minutes remaining on my day. So I won't be able to go too far. 